Today I have a great affordable alternative to a Cartier tank. And it's from Seiko. Let's get into it. Yes, and welcome to the Mad Watch Collector Show. Have you ever sat down and thought to yourself, I wonder if I know a watch that I love but am least likely to ever wear? Now for me, it has to be from a brand called Cartier. Cartier. Cartier? I don't know. This brand has had a huge lift in the last three, four, five years. Now for me, wristwatches should be round and any that are squared or rectangular shaped should only be housed in a grandfather clock. But there's something about Cartier for me that I really do like. I hate Roman numerals. The only time you should see Roman numerals is in a grandfather clock. So the Cartier tank that came out in 1918 and was based of a tank from World War One. If you see one of these on the wrist, you don't even have to look for very long. You know it's a Cartier, don't you? That little cabochon sapphire on the crown, the brancards, which are the two strips of stainless steel that just go past the case that the strap fits into. This watch here, right here, I wouldn't wear it. I'm a tennis coach by day and by night I'm a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. And I'd never go to anywhere fancy enough to think I could do with a Cartier. But there is a little bit of me that thinks, you know what, let's try one. But I would be mad to spend that sort of money on a watch I probably wouldn't wear. Hold up and say a big thank you to Seiko. Because one of my favourite brands have pretty much copied it. So a very, very affordable alternative to a Cartier tank I'm going to show to you today. And you know what? I'm going to give it away today as well. Oh, <laughs> you are lucky. This watch was sent to me by Joma Shop, a non-authorised dealer of many, many, many brands, which means they can sell them to you at a discounted price and they have their own warranty. So a big thank you for Joma Shop for sending this watch to me and letting me give it away to you. Are you affordable Cartier ready? Let's go. So ladies and gentlemen, here it is, the SWR049, the Seiko tank. Rip off of the Cartier tank 100% and captures a lot of the Cartier details in this watch. The case is stainless steel, mineral glass protecting the dial. It's only 30 meters of water resistance, but you're not gonna go swimming with this, are you? We have a mixture of polishing and brushing on the case. The Cartier crown is so tiny. It's gotta be the smallest crown we've had on this show. Little black mineral glass on the top there. The Cartier Cabochon. The dimensions are quite important to know about. It's 44 lug to lug. From left to right, it's 29 millimeters. Only six millimeters thick, which means this is a perfect dress watch size. It's a very light watch, I have to admit. Probably about 40 to 50 grams, but six millimeters, crikey. It's just a push in case back. God knows what that L means large, but the movement is Japanese. It is a quartz movement. That's no shocks. The Cartier tank runs on a Swiss quartz movement. The fact you don't have a ticking seconds hand just makes this watch look a bit more premium than it is. The strap is very comfortable. It's very thin. I've only had this on a couple of times and it is showing wear already, but it is actually leather. And what's really funny on the back, we see Seiko calf. I'd love to know where Seiko breed all their cows. The buckle is polished stainless steel and it is sun. And if we go on to the dial, it's very legible, very white, and extremely plain. Everything is printed, apart from those little flecks of silver at the hour markers. Of course, as this is a dress watch, there is no loom whatsoever here. But it being so monochromatic, you wouldn't have trouble seeing this in any sort of darkness. I do like those delicate hands, painted in black. It's a very nice, dressy, sophisticated looking dial, isn't it? Hello. On my six and a half inch wrist, and this watch looks very nice, doesn't it? I almost feel like I need to buy a tie and buy a suit for the tie and some shoes, some dressy socks, maybe a fancy pen. Yeah. Well, we've got to talk about the price first. It's $149, which is about 120, 115 pounds for us guys in the UK. Don't forget the import tax. But for anyone who wants to scratch that itch, I think this is a good way to go. And that says a lot for me. I'm really not one for homage or clomages. But as I've never, ever owned a square watch before, this was just full of intrigue for me. And overall, it's a snazzy watch. For me, the crown is way too small. It needs to be made a little bit more of a feature. The strap is very thin and will wear out quite soon. 
So does this SWR049 make me want square watches now? Or rectangle ones? No, I'm not a dress watch guy. I definitely appreciate it and it looks cool, but business cool. Whereas I'm sporty cool. <laughs> so that's why I'm giving it away. All you have to do out there is make sure you are subscribed to the Mad Watch Collector channel. Also make sure you follow the Mad Watch Collector on Instagram and answer this question in the comments below. Why should I give it to you? Don't give me a sob story because you know I'll see straight through that. Give me a fun and interesting reason why I should give you the watch. The whole world is open. I'm happy to send it wherever in the world and I will announce the winner in two weeks time. Here it is, my wife's first impressions of the Seiko tank. <laughs> Hate it. Mm. Hate square watches. Looks ugly. The dial looks like it's made of paper and cheap paper. Take it away. Okay. Obviously, this does not reflect the thoughts of the management. <laughs> what a show today. Not only have you been entertained, you also got a chance to win the watch. If you want a bit more of the Mad Watch Collector channel, click here and join. <laughs> but if I got you for a few more minutes, why don't you have a look at this show? This is quite sensational. One of my best works. 100%. Go on, click it. C click it. Click it.